What's up guys, this is your boy Dewey Guy, and I'm back here again with another video. So today's video, we're going to be doing a lot of car washing and just talking through what we're doing. And But the main concept of the video is to talk about how to make 800 horsepower in a Ford Mustang GT 6-speed manual. So when we talk 800 horsepower, we're talking like high nines, maybe low nines a little bit. If you want to touch 900, if you want to touch 9 seconds on a drag strip, you know, quarter mile. So this car is set up really good, and this is the fastest car I ever owned. Uh, I do have a sad news to tell you guys. I'm gonna try and post this car and see if I can sell it. If I can't sell it, we're gonna go crazy with it. But if I do sell it, it's gonna be a whole other V8 on the platform, a different type of V8, I promise you guys. But that's my goal, sell the car, get something that I don't have to spend too much money on it, and it's just gonna be fast from the factory. You know, this car only came with 460 horsepower, and I'm thinking maybe something from stock for like 6,700 horsepower-ish, you know? In, a, in a, either the Mustang world or the Chevy world or maybe a Dodge world. You never know, man. I'm not a big Dodge fan, but we're gonna see what we're gonna come up with. So, for this video, let's get right into the video and talk about how to make 800 horsepower while I wash the car. Washing the car. And the first thing I'm gonna do is use one of these foam cannon stuff to wash the car. And it has this uh, chemical guys foam in there. I got this piece from Amazon. I'm gonna get a shorter hose, you know, just so it starts from here to here. Like, this is so long, maybe something shorter, you know. But uh, I'm gonna go right ahead, spray the car up with some hose, get some of the dirt and grimes off of it first. And as you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, I'm just I'm getting wet because it's all windy and all the yeah. ladders coming towards me and then the lens is all messed up but oh well. You know, I recommend you guys doing this in your garage because uh, it's easier and it's nicer and it's not windy and all the stuff will be in there. You know, you want you want to have a nice garage that you can do stuff from like this that. You know, I don't have a garage, so this is what I have, and I'm gonna work with what I have. Uh, I'm gonna put some water here just so I can move around the car a little bit more. Yeah. So yeah, hose is stuck here. Alright boys, so the car's all lighted up. There's no more soap. I'm just gonna go around again with it. Just so the soap is out of here. And once that's done, we're gonna just get some videos of us walking on the car and stuff like that. And that's it's fun to do actually. I enjoy seeing the soap and all that stuff run down the car. I don't know why. I think it's really satisfying. So after this process, what we're gonna do is actually get in there and wash the car. But before I wash the car, let me start going ahead and talk to you guys about how to make 800 horsepower. So first, I got this Mustang, and all I did to it was just an intake. You know, I didn't know where I was going with the Mustang. If I was gonna get do two twin turbo setup, I'm gonna do supercharged. So I went with a intake. The intake video is up here below somewhere. Just make sure you check it out. We did intake install. After the intake install, the trans broke for the first time. So I went into Ford, they looked at it, they fixed it, which is a clutch issues. They fixed the clutch. Uh, right after that, something else happened, which was the, uh, the, the the crank sensor went out when the clutch broke. So that got replaced. Oh my God, I was, it was raw horrific and everything. I was just thinking like, what is wrong with this car? Should I just sell this car? Should I just keep this car? Whatever. The next thing that happened was that I was just scrolling online, scrolling online, and I saw somebody with these beautiful ass wheels, and I said, holy crap, I should get these, definitely get these wheels that uh, comes with Michelin tires. They had brand new tires on here, you know, tires still have some meat on there, but uh, I burned it a little bit today. I did this from burnout. Hopefully you guys can check out this video. I'm going to link it right here for you guys. Uh, so I burned the tires a little bit today, and I got these tires for a good deal. It was like 600 bucks or 700 bucks from the guy. 
brand new Mustang he bought, went crazy with it, so he sold the tires to me. I had to drive maybe two hours to go pick it up. That was not bad. Uh, the next thing that came right after the wheels was I just went with a supercharger. There were so many options out there, you know? So there's so many options out there. Which was a supercharger, you know? And what is a better thing to go with than an Autobrock TVS 2650, you know? And Autobrock makes one of the best stock supercharger you know when i say stock supercharger the supercharger is not stock obviously it's an aftermarket part but when i say stock supercharger i mean like this thing is made not to whine it's made not to be a whole lot louder like the whipples are with a uh the whipple supercharger where you get a whine this is a sleeper supercharger so you get on it nobody even knows there's a supercharger underneath the car it comes with a 103 millimeter throttle body and it's a fun car i mean the smaller pulley in the car right now is a 3.85 pulley you know so it's a big pulley a little bit well 3.5 i believe is a pulley size uh it rips it's fast the car is fast enough that it doesn't go straight because the tires are still stock tires and for me to hook i have to go upgraded tires upgraded wheels which means you're looking at four to five grand for some wheels so that's why i came up with the idea why spend that money when i go get a, another car that makes exactly the same horsepower and we probably have a nicer interior than what I have here because this is a base model car. So, it, well, it's not a base model. It has a, 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 a black package on it. So you're gonna have the whole uh, what do you call a black package list on there with some nice dash and all this stuff. You know, basic stuff like that. In there, but the car is fast. It's fun. It's scary fast. It goes straight sometimes when it wants to. So uh, I'm happy about that. So for you to get 800 exact horsepower in my setup that I have, I have a long tube headers straight cap back 1050 x injectors and just an outer block supercharger with a 3.5 pulley on there i believe it's the size of the pulleys either 3.5 or 3.8 with a 103 millimeter throttle body so this is the stage 2 outer block kit brand new it's like eleven thousand dollars. i did not buy this new or whatsoever this is a used supercharger i got from a buddy from new york so i had to drive three hours to go pick this up too it was a fun trip because the supercharger is huge and i had a little kia and I couldn't believe the supercharger fit in there, so we ended up taking a trip on my way back. My tire blew out. That was all fun stuff. But right now, this baby is fun. It's a fun car. It's fast. It does everything I wanted to do. But I just think it's time for me to either upgrade the supercharger or just upgrade the car itself and go for something crazy, you know. So as time grows, you know, the channel is going to keep changing. New cars is going to come. New cars is going to go. Because that's what we do, you know. Change cars every often just so you guys don't get bored with the same channel and stuff. But... I would definitely love to put some stuff in this car, but I just think it's a little too pricey. It's getting too pricey. Oh, I forgot to mention this. The car has a built transmission by Calumet Transmission. It has a built gears, you know, and it's synchron treated and everything, and it's a strong transmission. So if you're going to go with this setup, you might as well get the Calumet Transmission because you spent T56 money, you got to get drive shaft, you got to get this, you got to bang into your frame a little bit just so the T56 can fit. But you use a stock transmission, you can just swap that thing back right in there and just go your way, and then nothing really changes in there. You can use your old drive shaft too, but uh, the car's been good to me. Nothing crazy, no, nothing too crazy with uh, troubles and stuff like this. So we're gonna get right in the video and keep watching the car and then do some more talking. I'm gonna tell you guys something that I did in my Mustang that I really enjoyed. Doing. All right, so first thing I'm doing, since I put the stuff on there, all I'm doing is just washing the car. You know, just some soap. Just keeping it nice, clean. You know, because I haven't washed in a minute. I always double dip, so couple times dip it in there because I haven't washed the car in a while and stuff up dirty so quick little wash and you cut the video. thing we're gonna do is just wash the bills and we're gonna talk about the sauce of making 800 horsepower you know we need to make 800 horsepower obviously you need a gen 3 motor you know uh, and gen 3 motors usually come with the port injection and the direct injection so you have 16 injectors to make use of you know and a lot of guys that make a lot of power what they do is they put uh, return stock fuel system in it just so the car 
breeze better to put E85 in it just so it can run better you know so return is a good thing to do return stock fuel you know and I have it back in my supercharger just so my fuel pump can keep up and stuff like that but I don't think it's doing that because it's too much power for the car and the fuel boosters it's not gonna definitely do it but it's a fun car you know uh, the transmission is hard to shift like I said it's really hard to shift because it's a uh, six speed is a built transmission you got to use some strength some muscles to shift it so let's just keep going with this video all right guys so i'm wiping the exhaust down to get some of the black marks off of it you know with this beautiful thing that cup i got from autozone it just shines off the exhaust when you have chrome exhaust you know but this is probably my last time buying an exhaust with a chrome exhaust tip on it i think i'm gonna go for black now because you don't have to worry about cleaning it and all that you know I don't want to do this stuff because it's also so tight, you know, but it'll shine up after a little bit, so. And how satisfying this is to do. You see it, how it's changing? Yeah. yeah. Hard to do sometimes because some dirt, not just bad dirt, but so this time, all we do is just wiping down the car and getting off all the water residue. All this water residue is going to come off because I'm going to go for a second wipe. Right now, it's just the first wipe, we just a dry towel. And the second wipe with another towel where we just clean up all the stuff but the towel is going to be wet actually for the second dryer off so. Alright guys, so the car is finally done. Oh my god, look at how orange this beauty looks. So basically to make 800 horsepower, all you need is just a supercharger under your hood. And there's so many options that we have Whipple, we have Autobrock, we have Roush, we have EN, we have, uh, what else, what else, what else can I think of? Uh, Holden, I think there's a company in Australia that makes a supercharger for Mustangs. And you clean, it's a TVS too, so, you know, it's not going to have all the crazy whipple wine sounds that you, you guys are used to. But look at how crazy this car looks with this beautiful shine we just did to the car. Oh my god, the paint is popping like crazy. I want to even take photos and post the car soon. But look at that, boys. I'm in love with the car. The car looks good. It sounds good. It feels good. I just want a different setup and I want a Camaro. That's, I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I want a Camaro. I'm tired of Mustangs. I want a Camaro. I want to feel a different platform and feel what it is, you know. And maybe when we have the Camaro for a little bit, we're going to sell it and we're going to want to dodge, you know. But for now, this is the beautiful Mustang that we have. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you like, you subscribe, and you share the video with your friends and family. It's not focusing on my hand. Make sure you like and subscribe and share this video with your friends and family. Catch you guys later.